Speaking of Arsenal, speaking of Arsenal, right? You got a chance to go and top this weekend. Tough game for them. What have you guys made of the analysis? Roy Keane today saying Arsenal were a bad team. Graham Sooner slamming your tactics and the way you're playing this season. What do you make of all that, Egal? These guys are clowns, mate. Honestly, they are literally ignoring the context of us playing with 10 men versus Brighton, 10 men versus Man City, ignoring the context of us being 2-1 up and having something to hold on to versus Man City in the second half. Especially, especially since we did go toe to toe with them, I felt like for for a decent portion of the uh, of the first half, and we were ahead. Don't forget, we were down one nil away at the Etihad, and came roaring back to score two goals. And these people are talking about, oh, they showed what what did what did Graham Sooner say? His exact words: an inferiority complex. Excuse me, an inferiority complex. What are you talking about? I feel like these guys, they just say some bullshit all the time. They want us to play the same way Liverpool did. Liverpool went there and got their ass handed to them a bunch of times, if I'm not mistaken. There was maybe there was maybe when? a couple times. There was maybe a couple times where you faced Man City away at their ground and you actually got a result. When 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 City, Liverpool went there and went down to 10 men, you got beat 5-1. Exactly. And also the, everyone's everyone's I mean, telling me. Money got oh, money, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Everyone, to be who's fair, we kind Arsenal, of caught the bus then. We still got back. Everyone who's telling Arsenal how they should play since when do do the opponents that you're facing this dictate how you should play? Since when every, every any single time that we've heard a team come out and criticize a team, uh, play defensive football against them is because that team frustrated them and ended up getting a result. And I would expect it to come from the Man City players. I'd expect it to come from Rodri, who said it in the past. I expect it from people who are rattled after the game. But to hear it from pundits, players who played football themselves, and 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 just and also pundits who've seen the game for as many years as they have, what are they talking about? It's actually ridiculous. We've we've and then to also criticize Arsenal the way Paul Scholes did, saying that oh. Uh, these guys, these guys don't. They, they show that they can't attack because because they're playing so defensive versus Brighton and and Man City. Of course, we're playing defensive. We're down to ten men. It doesn't matter who if you're at home versus Brighton no, or no, if you're away at Man no. City. We've you're down to ten men. You're gonna try to make sure number one, you don't concede. You don't you don't face too many shots in your goal because they have a can numerical play, advantage can, on can the pitch. Can someone play the violin? Can someone play the That's violin? Because all I'm hearing, all I'm hearing is tears and tears about. Oh, we had ten men. Oh, we've seen teams win with ten men before, Miguel. I don't know if you if you saw what Staffy said, but last night Bodo Glimp had ten men against Porto. Yeah, they pumped them three one. Having ten men doesn't stop you from being able to attack. Yes, it limits your team and and the amount of movement you're going to have to have on the pitch. But we've seen plenty of teams with ten men play good football. I saw Liverpool with ten men against Spurs last season break us down. Nine, nine, nine. They had nine. Yeah, but I mean, when you had ten, there was plenty of times where they were playing better football than us with ten men. So there's no there's no reason as to why you keep saying ten men, ten men. Yes, you played City, who are a better team. We get that. We did not expect you to with ten. Men, Men go and batter City over the pitch, go and cause them um, issues. But what Arsenal done, and and all season you have done, is not looked good in attack. And if you Arsenal fans are going to sit there and deny that, then you're just lying to yourselves. You have to admit and look at look at the way that you've played this season compared to last, and say our attack is not performing to the level that it should be. We're, we're creating chances, yes, but in front of goal we don't look as clinical. The the team itself, the the players aren't performing to the same levels they were. The likes of Martinelli has been offered Cliff for about nine months. Sterling come in and look good yesterday, but hasn't hasn't played a game in the Premier League to show you that he can bring that level at the, at this level. And also Saka, I'm not going to get onto him or nothing, but he's not performing at the level he did last year. And One even second. last year when he man, wasn't good, harsh, he was man. scoring One goals second. and getting assists. So Jeez. Arsenal's attack is a bigger issue. And without Odegaard, you need to sit there and acknowledge that you guys are nowhere near the level that you need to be to compete for Stop. this league. Stop. First things first. When oh. you go away to Aston Villa, Away to Man City and away we beat to Aston Villa four nil last year. One We're second. Not doing that. One second. I, when you go away to three grounds that are relatively tough in the Premier League to start your campaign, and there's only been five games, it's a small sample size, and people are getting very reactionary. That's number one. Number two, to say our attack 
is extremely poor. But then just a few seconds ago, you were picking up you uh, just a few seconds ago. Poor, once again, to say our attack has been poor, I would not expect us to go and batter Spurs, batter Aston Villa, and batter Man City to start the season. And if you're if you're down to 10 men versus Brighton at home, I still wouldn't expect us to go and batter them either. Really and truly, we've only had one game where we should have battered the side, and it was the first game of the goddamn season. And who really comes out here and slaps the team 4 or 5 nil their first game of the season? It doesn't really tend to happen. First game of the season, teams are still getting, uh, g- getting themselves back into the group of things. So I do think... This is very reactionary from everybody. Arsenal are still undefeated in the league. Arsenal are still up there uh, with the rest of the teams in the league. We've created a lot of quality yes. chances with with one of our best players out injured and one of our new signings not even kicking a ball. And everyone's out, out all here saying this team is not looking good. Well, what do you expect? When, 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 you're, when you're going away, when you're going away in North London Derby, you're going away to a title rival, you're going away to a team that we lost to two times last year and we're coming out with results. I personally, I'm happy with the start. I understand there's concerns about our attack. But where I would where I would agree with you is if we continue to have the offensive struggles against the teams like the Southamptons, the Leicesters, then we have real problems. But a way to and uh, a way to any of the top sides that are in the top four or except or your own club, I would not really worry because I think I think we still have enough to to get those goals. And last year, when people had questions about our attack, last year I heard a similar situation. And the moment the fixture swung. You've seen the goals pouring in. The floodgates open. So I'm not too concerned. I was with George for the most part until the last couple of minutes where he kept on saying that Arsenal's attack are dead. They're this, they're that, they're this. They're Look, dead. At, They've got issues. Or, or they're not they're at the level cool. to compete. Or not at the level to compete. That's what you said, right? They're not performing right? to that level at the moment, no. But again, we seen at the start of the season, last season, they weren't performing to that level. And then what mm. happened? They ended up competing for the league. And let's, let's be honest, right? Arsenal didn't Arsenal weren't firing goals left, right, and centre. Am I right? Am I right, Egal? Were they scoring like five, six goals? Bro, we game? scored 19 goals in like five games. Well then, that's last year. So they were on fire last year, Ram. You you're missing something here. I'm telling you. Where, I, I where, know either either <laughs> either way, either way, when you look at how they went went about the season when near the end of the season, they started firing again. So why can't you say that they can do that again? And maybe Arsenal might be taking it a little bit easier and not burning out in the middle of the season, which cost them the league at the end. And let's be honest, Jaws, yeah? <laughs> this is still a team that is good enough to win a league. They've got the, one of the best defences in the league. It's hard to break down. One of the things that I agree with the gal for once and disagree with so many pundits, which is a bit weird, is the fact that people have having a go at them for defending a 2-1 lead at the Etihad. Like, you're, and any team would do that. You're playing one of the best teams in the world and you're defending for your lives with 10 men. The only thing I would say that I would possibly criticise Arteta for is taking off Saka, who's probably a really good outlet to have in order to have some counter like concern. what? Sorry? Injury concern. Oh, okay. Then that's, that's a different matter because... because. Inter Milan did the same thing and they had an outlet and they, they ended up using it well. So that's why that's probably the one criticism I had for, Egal, uh, for Arteta, but that's by the by. I think what you're saying about this team, it comes down to one simple thing, George, bitterness. You're a very, very bitter man because of the fact that your club is in the mud and Arsenal are... are I'll the be top honest, Ram, I don't think you've said anything the league. noteworthy because you, you're sitting there you, what, you're, what you're saying is, oh... You, you guys are saying uh, Arsenal, may, maybe they're they're not playing George, that great. George, now, sorry, George, sorry to interrupt you. Can I just let Ram finish that last statement, then I'll come back to you. I just want to hear what you said about you being bitter. I was enjoying that. Sorry, I'll come back to you in a second, brother. <laughs> it's facts, though. It's facts. It's facts. But why, got, say, the... say why he's bitter, and then we'll let George have the right reply. Say Look, why he's bitter, and then we'll let him have the right reply. They've got a better team than you. They've got a better yeah. manager than you. They, they're in a better place than you can ever be at this very Ooh. moment. I guarantee you, not only one player from your team gets into that team. And even then, that's a debate. So let's not do this, man. Get They're out. a good team. They're good enough to compete. And for me, they are favourites to win this league. I think they have a better team than Manchester City at this very moment in time. So put please, to be a bit rational, don't be bitter. 
Just be just be humble and be like Arsenal, you're a very good oh team. You're gonna challenge for the league, you're gonna win win the league. That's what you gotta do, man. It's okay. Not hard. okay, over the George. Ram, have you got your head out of a girl's ass now or Arsenal's or Arteta? <laughs> I'm, hey, talking no, no, I'm talking no, no, no. straight. No, no, no. We're just gonna be honest here, yeah. It's the first the, the first thing you said that was absolute rubbish was oh maybe they're saving themselves so they don't get burned out later on in the season. Um, no, that's definitely not the case. The reason their attack's not firing is clear mm. to see they have no Odegaard. All fans can see that, apart from you clearly, Ram, as to why that's a problem. I highlighted the issue and said Arsenal are not firing to the same level they was last year. You then just said, oh, last year they didn't start that good. Well, they did. A gal just said they scored 19 goals in their first five games. This no, season, no, 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 no. We started poor last season. That's what I'm just taking off what you said. You said 90 goals in five games, did you not? Uh, After uh, January, yeah. Why you know, they, they come back from Dubai and they spank everyone. Season, bro? Why are you talking about January? <laughs> this guy, man. <laughs> hey, but regardless, Arsenal are not in a position to be trying to save themselves until later on in the year because they're not that team. They've seen Man City start this season firing. Ha Haaland's been bagging goals pretty much every game that he's been in. And Arsenal, let, let, let's look at their team. You said it's better than Manchester City. What you're doing right now is glazing Arsenal because you want them to be the team that beat, beat City. You want someone else to beat up the big, your big brother because City little bro do right. every time. All, all these years, City just sat there and they patted you on the shoulder and said, it's all right, man, little man. It's all right. We'll give you something every now and then. They gave you one league in six and you guys tried to sit here and act like, oh, we're, we're the second best losers. You're the next thing. You're Arsenal are literally the next Liverpool. You told me that Tottenham, I'm bitter because Tottenham will never be where Arsenal is. I'm sorry, we've finished second and I don't even care because finishing second is not an achievement. No one talks about it. This Arsenal team hasn't achieved anything for me to be bitter. If they go and win a trophy this season, maybe I will be bitter. But when I look at my team and I say my team can compete, my team goes and win a Europa League this season, then we've done more than what Arteta and what Arsenal have done in their whole history in Europe. So what are we doing here? My team... We have better odds.